Hey guys, this is Todd Stone from Central Oregon Survival Network. We're going to continue on with the homemade armor project. This video, which is video six, we're actually going to disassemble the homemade armor and take a look and see what the rounds actually did inside of the armor. And that'll kind of give us a, an idea on how to improve it and make it a little bit better. As you know, the uh, 223 green tip armor piercer did penetrate. Uh, the 7.62x39 did not and neither did any of the pistol ammo. Now I didn't shoot um, a 308 or a 30 out 6 it's a big big round. Um, you know I probably will. I'll put this back together and shoot a couple of the top quadrants that haven't been pierced and I'm pretty sure that it'll stop it because of the the diameter of the bullet and the velocity. Uh, 223 is pretty much the one that I wanted to defeat because of the speed, the popularity of the round and that was the big one that I wanted to stop. So let's go ahead and take a look in, inside of this and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the top plate. Um, again, this is the 40 that didn't even uh, make too much of a dent. 40 caliber pistol round. These are the 22s. We've got the 357, which made Magnum, which made a pretty good sized dent. 762 by 39. And the 223 green tip and 223 five, uh, 55 green. It's a full metal jacket. Okay, I took all the bolts out, so you know you don't need to see me doing all that. But I wanted to get down to the meat and potatoes. So this is the baffling that I made, and like I said, the only thing that got through that first plate is the 762 and the 223. Now the purpose of the baffling was to make the round actually change a little bit in the trajectory, and it did work on the 762, but the 223 it did not. So I want to try the 308 and the 30 out 6 and see if it actually changes that trajectory of the round and maybe destabilizes it. So if you see here, these are the 762. Right here's the 762 by 39, and it actually did turn that round and actually change that trajectory. Now on the 223, it just so happens that I shot pretty much right in between. Um, I don't know if it would have made a big difference if I would have hit right on top. On the 762, I did hit on top of that one, and I was in between on that one, but it still did change that trajectory. Okay, so that's the baffling, and it did go through the baffling. Let's look at the phone books. All right, so like I said on my video with the 7.62x39, the AK-47, I did almost shoot in between these two. They were tight, well, as tight as I can get them. They're about there now and uh, I had bolts going through and I didn't drill holes. But the 762 hit in these two spots here. And as you can see, this one just, just disintegrated. It's pretty much sitting right here. Well, a lot of it is what's left of it. So we have some sitting there. And then this one actually went through and dented the back. Um, I don't know if it's got a... It's kind of amazing that uh, when these rounds hit, the lead just disintegrates. I mean, there's really not a lot of left of that, you know, not a lot left of that bullet. It just completely disintegrated. And that was what was left of the 762. Now, on the 223, same thing, which I was highly impressed on the 55 or the I'm sorry, the 55 grain 223. This is all that's left of that 5 or 223 55 grain. There's hardly anything left. You can see the impact it completely just disintegrated, okay? Which I'm actually really, really impressed. Now, the 223 with the uh, green tip armor piercer, it went completely through the phone book. Do we see that? Went completely through, through. It did change the trajectory a little bit on the baffling. It actually is coming through at an angle and it went clear out the back. Now, on that one though, it did, it did make quite a bit of a, a displacement when it hit and it came through. I don't know what kind of speed that was going at when it came out the other side. It is stuck on a 2x4. I plan on digging that out and just seeing how, how far or how much power that had once it pa passed through the plate. Now the other thing we're going to do is I'm probably going to change this up and I'm, I'm going to get rid of the baffling. The baffling did work with the larger rounds. I'm, I'm not going to get rid of it when we shoot the 30, uh, 308 or the 30-06, uh, but I am going to change it up 
after I shoot it with the 308 and the 30-06. We're actually gonna go with some ballistic plastic that I have and then phone books and then just two plate steel and we're gonna get it as tight as we can and see if that'll stop that 223 green tip armor piercer. So anyway, thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments, please, please post them in the description block. I'll put a little brief, you know, what happened, what didn't happen and uh, so you can read that. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it and I appreciate your subscriptions. Thank you very much.